I actually have a specialty tool designed for compressing pistons back out, but I prefer the screwdriver method. Hey guys, it's Josh with Budget Mechanic. Now, when we're doing our brakes, it's a fairly easy job until you get to the point where you have to push your caliper piston back in. It can be really difficult, and in the past, I know you guys use like clamps and blocks of wood and try to get those things forced back in, but it can be really difficult, especially if you have a dual piston system where you push one in, but then the other one pops back out. It can be really annoying. Now you can buy or rent uh, specialty tools to compress that cylinder back in, but I'm gonna show you today how you can do it with a tool that you already have. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to Budget Mechanic and leave us a comment below, like the video, and hit that alert button. Okay, so as you can see, I turned the wheel all the way to the right, which kicks the caliper out towards me so I have a better view. And what we're trying to do here is move this caliper. Normally, you'd pull the caliper off and you try to hang it from the shock and you get your tool in there and you try to push that piston back in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a screwdriver, one of these guys, and we're gonna try to lever this caliper over because this caliper floats on these two slide pins here. And if we force it all the way over, it's gonna make the piston compress back in even before we take the caliper off. If you have a bigger and longer screwdriver, it'll make the job a little easier because it's a longer lever. But I'm just using a super small basic one out of a tool kit and it works just fine, just takes a little bit more strength. So let's give it a shot. So calipers have this hole in the back and that's where we're gonna put our screwdriver. We're gonna stick it in there, try to find like a hole in the rotor and then we're just going to pull away and you can see it start to compress that piston. I can look in here and see I'm not all the way so I'm going to find another, another bite point and keep going. So as it moves out you might have to find a new spot to put the screwdriver like I'm on the outside of the rotor now and I'm pretty much bottomed out. So that piston's all the way pressed back into the caliper. So now I'm just going to remove the caliper bolts as I normally would. I always like to start with the bottom one because sometimes you get lucky and you can just pivot the caliper right up and it sits on the top bolt. You don't even have to remove it. Nope. So I got the caliper off and as you can see, our piston is already reset. And just a reminder, never hang your brake caliper by the brake line because that would potentially wreck your brake line. So you tie it up or you find a good spot that it's going to be safe sitting there. And then I can get in here and put in the new pads. Time to test our theory. And yes, we did compress the piston enough. Slides right on there. Now, depending on how your caliper is constructed, there is a small chance that you won't be able to get your screwdriver into a good spot to lever on it. So what I found when I encounter a caliper like that is I'll actually take one or both of the caliper bolts off enough that it allows me to swing it out of the way and pull the outside pad. So I can pull the, the brake pad out. Then I just start that caliper bolt back in so it holds it in place. Now I've got a big gap on this side that I can fit a screwdriver in if I can't find another spot. And then I just do it the same exact way. I just pull against the rotor and Bob's your uncle. Now I actually have a specialty tool designed for compressing pistons back out, but I prefer the screwdriver method. For a couple reasons, it's, it's really simple obviously, but also I like dealing with the piston when the caliper's attached to the brakes, bolted on, rather than when it's detached and hooked up to a brake line and you gotta be careful and you're trying to wrestle it, it's just a lot more complicated. So, I think this is the way to go. One last note, if you're working on a caliper in the rear of the car, some of them have a different type of piston that has to be screwed in at the same time it's being pressed, so if you're pulling on it with a screwdriver and it's not moving, you might need to flip that thing up and check out the piston and make sure it's not one of those screw type. You'll know because it'll have some sort of a cross pattern or two holes and you'll need a specialty tool for that. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And as always, thank you for your subscriptions, your likes, and your comments. See you next time.